So while we uh, b before we go, we're going to talk about one more uh, idea in vari uh, with variability and how we can describe it. The first is what's called the five number summary. And this is going to be very important, as I mentioned at the start of the lecture, when we start talking about box plots. And these five numbers are the minimum value, the 25th percentile, or the first quartile. So this is going to be the value with which 25% of the data is below it. The median, which is also known as the 50th percentile. And so that's going to say 50% of the data is below it, 50% is above. The 75th percentile, also known as the third quartile, that is going to tell us that 75% of the data is below it, which means 25% is above it, and the maximum value. Okay, So that's the five number summary. And they're going to be things that we're going to use when we're creating box plots. It's going to become a really important thing. Now, from this five number summary, we can come, uh, calculate two other um, measures of variability. The first is the range, and that's the one we did at the very beginning, which is taking the maximum value and subtracting out that minimum value. That's the range, and you're probably familiar with the range. The next one is calculating the interquartile range, and that's taking the third quartile and subtracting the first quartile. So it's taking what's essentially the 75th percentile and subtracting the 25th percentile. So the IQR is collecting the middle 50% of the data. Okay. Now, last time we when we uh, we introduced the concept of resistance. So resistance refers to st uh, statistics that are not affected by outliers. The IQR is a resistance statistic because you could imagine if you add uh, a greater value, that's not really going to have an impact on that middle range. However, the standard deviation and the range are not resistant. If you add another value that's far away from the most of the values, the range is going to change dramatically, right? Because the range is calculated based on the maximum or the, and the minimum values. So if you increase the maximum or you increase the minimum, uh, decrease the minimum and increase the maximum, then the range is going to get quite a bit bigger. So when we want to deal with resistance statistics, we're generally going to use that median in conjunction with the IQR. That's how we're going to deal with um, resistance statistics. And we probably won't spend too much uh, time talking about them, but they are important concepts in statistics. We typically focus on the, the typical value, so we typically focus on the mean, but that doesn't mean that the median and the IQR don't have value and in, 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 in importance, in spite of the fact that we'll focus mostly on the mean and the standard deviation. So let's see some five number summaries. And this is again across all the penguins. Here we've got the body mass. And in the second column, we've got the bill length. So we can see the minimum value for the body mass is 2,700. The first quartile is uh, 3,550. The median is 4,050. The mean is 4,201.8. The third quartile is 4,750. And the maximum is 6,300. Now you're probably saying, hey, Chris, there are six numbers here. And by the way, what is that mean doing in there? Well, the mean actually shouldn't be in there. Um, that is because I created this table in R. And when I requested summary information, it also gave me the mean. So let's ignore that for the moment. This is really what we're talking about when we're talking about our uh, five number summary. <clears throat> so from this, we can calculate the range and the IQR. I'll do it for body mass, and then I'll uh, let you do it for bill length. So the range is going to be the max minus the min. So it's going to be 6,300 minus 2,700. And that's going to equal 3,600. Right? So it's going to be this value minus this value. IQR is going to be the third quartile minus the first quartile. So 4,750 minus 3,550. And that's going to equal. Twelve hundred. So I hope that after this lecture, you now have a sense of how to describe variability.
We talked about the concepts of sample, uh, the standard deviation. We talked about what are the four things you need to identify when you're looking at a histogram or a dot plot, as well as a box plot when we start talking about those. We also talked a little bit about how you start making comparative statements when you're comparing uh, two plots. And then we closed by talking about the z-scores and the five number summaries and presenting the IQR as a resistance statistic. Next time, we're going to move into talking about describing relationships with one categorical variable and one quantitative variable.